Hi there, I'm Paul Holloway, and today on What's That Weird Thing, we're going to talk about the ERVW Blocks, or PH Tool. ERVW stands for Extended Range Variable Wall. There is a three block set for axial scanning or scanning in the axial direction. Uh, it would be for inspection of uh, say like pipe to pipe or pipe to flange welds. And there's also a two block set for scanning in the circumferential or uh, around the curve uh, direction for inspection of long seam welds. This is a concept that I came up with a number of years ago. I was on a job where there was some larger diameter pipe to be inspected and some smaller stuff. And then as the job went on, the goalpost moved. The client changed. They said, okay, instead of doing 16s, now, we're, oh, we're gonna drop some 12 inch on you. So we needed you to do some 12 inch. And you check the shop and uh, that block is out with somebody else. Maybe it's at another end of the country. Somebody else has got it, maybe it's gone missing. Uh, you end up having to call in favors to your competitors and things get kind of awkward at that point. So we wanted to try and figure out a way to make a set of blocks that was uh, compatible to a really wide range of pipe sizes, uh, both diameters and thicknesses. And that's how this came to be. One of the first things that you'll notice is that these blocks have uh, side drilled holes in them instead of notches. There is a notch block set available. Uh, we'd started out with notches in mind, but found out quickly that the rules for notch blocks uh, are different, quite a bit different actually than uh, for side drilled holes. And it was easier to start with the side drilled hole variant and then do the notch one later. So the three block set replaces 24 standard calibration blocks. Uh, this is the largest one, it's the 12 to 20. Uh, and it has, as you can see, uh, four different sections on it. And each one of those sections is a different thickness. The medium size block is the uh, six to 10 inch block and it has uh, three different steps. And then there's a three to five inch block with two different steps. The weight of those standard blocks uh, would be about 750 pounds. Uh, the weight of the three ERVW blocks is just 30 pounds. So some design features here, uh, each sector has an angled end on it, and that is to redirect the termination echoes so that when you're running a uh, TCG for phased array, uh, you don't have a corner trap signal interfering with your hole. As well, each sector has the uh, applicable sizes and thicknesses written on it. Here's a close up of some of the writing on the side. This is uh, sector T1, which is 0.386 inches uh, thick, which is 9.8 millimeters. And it would be um, used for pipe, uh, say like a 12 inch uh, SCED 30 standard and 40, uh, or a 14 or a 16 or an 18, or even a 20 inch. So I'll do a little demonstration about how the blocks perform here. I'm putting it on the, uh, on the second sector, what I call T2. Uh, and this is, uh, let's see, 15.8 millimeters thick or 0.622 inches. So I'll put it down here and now I've conveniently already made a TCG. So you can see as I pull the probe back, I see the, uh, the whole signal on the first leg and you see I don't have a corner trap. I can make that corner trap appear if I turn the probe. There's the corner trap there at the bottom, but it's not gonna get in my way because I've angled that end. Okay, the corner trap completely disappears. Now pull the probe back. There's the second leg. You can see again, no corner trap. I can rotate the probe and get the corner trap to come back. There it is down there, but it's not gonna get in my way because we got the angled ends. And then I will uh, pull the probe back a little bit further. And there's even the third leg. Again, no problems with the corner trap. So this is, a, this is just a 16 element probe, five meg, nothing crazy. And I've got three clean legs. So some of the questions that come up about these blocks is why does it look like the holes aren't in the right spot? If you take a look at the end of this, this sector here, it kind of looks like the holes are a little bit too high on this sector. And that's simply because the holes are drilled so that they cross exactly through the 25 and 50 and 75% or, or quarter T, half T, three quarter T positions when they are at the center of the sector. So they start out high on the outside and then by the time they get through the middle, they're in the right spot. One of the other questions we get is, can I use them? Can I use a side drill hole block? And the answer is yes. The code actually says you can use the basic notch block or the alternate block. So the side drilled hole blocks are completely compliant as well. Uh, every uh, dimension and feature on the block is code compliant. 
If you inspect the same sizes of pipe all the time, then an ERBW block set probably won't do much for you. Uh, but if you don't know what's coming next, you don't know if it's going to be 6 inch or 3 inch or 8 inch, and will it be SCED 40 or SCED 160, then an ERBW set makes a lot of sense and it weighs a lot less than conventional blocks. I uh, hope you found this video useful and thanks for watching.